guys welcome back to my channel i am kendra chick today we're gonna be doing a clothing transformation i got this shirt from walmart it is a 2x and if you want to see how i got this fit and i also made a bucket hat out of this shirt too y'all this shirt just gave me a whole fit so if you want to see how i got it stay tuned and y'all i'm super super excited because we finally don't hit 500 subscribers i love y'all so much for hanging in with me i have definitely been slacking but it's only right i come back harder because we will be at 1k before the end of 2021 baby so let's just jump into this video as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just going to cut my shirt open. I always like to do this so I can have like just a good foundation, a flat foundation. I ain't got to worry about no seams being cut, none of that. So I just go ahead and cut on the seams and separate the front and the back. And I also separate the sleeves too. And once I do that, I'm just going to take this rumper that I also made which I will have that video up for you guys later this week how I got this rumper I'm going to take that rumper and just place it on the front of the shirt well this is actually the back don't really matter at this point but place it on there and I'm just going to cut around it leaving little seam allowance because this is cotton fabric and again that rumper fits me and I don't need that much seam allowance I love for my clothes to fit I love for the figure to show okay because if not then what what's the point you have to show the figure okay like Beyonce said if you got it flaunt it so once I finish tracing well not tracing but cutting out um, my front of my rumper I'm going to do the same thing with the back on the back half of the shirt <music> Again, I'm just doing the back of my rumper. I'm just placing it on the center back of the 2X t-shirt and I'm just going to cut it out. If you feel like you need seam allowance, you can always leave seam allowance because it's better to have more fabric than not enough. Because you can always go and take away, but you can't add fabric back on once you've cut it. So again, if you think you may need seam allowance, guys, leave it because again, I didn't need it. So once I finish this, I am going to sew right along where you see my finger going. And then we're going to go on to the straps. Once all of our straps, well once we have both straps cut, we're going to put right sides facing right sides. And sew the straps on to our front, the front part of our rumper. And then we're going to connect the front and the back of our rumper right sides facing. Okay, I think that's going to be my last time doing a voiceover because I want you to kind of like pay attention to the video and I don't want to keep interrupting. So here, you just want to, every time when you're doing the crotch, always match your seams up, okay? You want to do seam to seam. Make sure you pin. If you're a beginner, it is very, very important to use pins because your fabric can slide when you're sewing and, you know, it might not be sewn in the place you thought you were supposed to sew it at if you if that makes sense but yeah just use pins for beginners i've been doing this for some time now so i'm kind of used to it but when i first started it used to take me forever because i used pins like nothing like i have so many damn pins now because i've had to use so many all right our rumper is almost complete once we had the front and the back connected or sewn together we're going to take it to our sewing machine and i'm now just going to do a zigzag stitch and hem in all the places it need to be hemmed so it can look clean and professional and then we're on to our bucket hats
All right, guys, I am now finishing up my bucket hat. We're finished with the whole fit. I didn't get a video of my bucket hat, but I did get the time lapse video of my bucket hat. So, this is the finished look of my bucket hat. I really love the way this bucket hat came out. Like, the whole fit, it was everything for me. The romper is versatile. You can style it in multiple ways as you like. It fits my body how I wanted it to. It just looks so nice. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, sis. Because we don't hit 500 subscribers, so you know I got to come back hard for y'all. It's only right, because we're going to be at 1,000 before the year over with, okay? So, without further ado, I love you guys so much. I am Kendra Chick, and I'll see you guys next time.